day everyone, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .com. Today I'm featuring the Coffee Cafe photopolymer set and the coffee cup framelit dies. This is part of the coffee break suite on pages 30 and 31 of the annual catalogue. If you purchase them as a set then you make a saving of 10%. That's with the stamp set and the dies. I will be demonstrating this card. These are the dies. You can cut a large, medium or small coffee cup. Um, there's the lid, there's a dome lid, um, there's a topping and this can actually double up as the cupcake and also an embossed ridge thing for the wrap around the middle of your coffee cup. This piece here is for the straw. Um, these are for the coffee beans and a miniature cup, a label, a mini tag and also the stirrer for the top of, to put in the top of your lid. We're using the Coffee Break Designer Series paper. These are six double sided designs, two sheets of each, 12 by 12 inches square. So we'll be using the coffee bean one, which is this sheet here. I'm going to be fussy cutting some of these um, elements. Now the dies in your pack will also fit over the coffee mug here. And then this funny looking one will actually cut out the beans. So you just need to find a set that will fit it. I've zoomed in really close so that you can see it. These beans here, which look as though they've got a thumbprint over it, um, like a fingerprint, um, those are the three that it will fit uh, over. And of course, when you've cut out on your designer series paper, if there's only part of a pot or part of a cup or kettle, you don't need to waste it, just flip it over and then you can cu cut out the coffee beans on the back. I also use the burlap background stamp, this is new, and the timeless textures. Um, it, it's this stain, coffee cup like stain that I want and also the splatter pattern. For the card base we've got a crumb cake piece, 11 and 3 quarter inches by 4 and 1 eighth inches, that's 29.9 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters with the long side on top score at 5 and 7 8 inches that's 14.9 centimeters and fold in half we have a pool party mat 5 and 7 8 inches by 3 and 7 8 inches in centimeters that's 14.3 by 9.8 steal a little bit from the center to die cut this. I'm just doing it in a different colour way. This is pool party. I'm doing it in crumb cake so it'll be the reverse of the colour. Two pieces of very vanilla cut at five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. That's 14 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres. Some very vanilla scrap. Crumb cake, chocolate chip and soft sky ink. Crumb cake marker pen, linen thread, the big shot and magnetic platform and a foam mat because we're using um, photopolymer stamps and you need a cushion uh, when you're stamping with photopolymer stamps. Stir a stick, you can pick up some complimentary ones from your local coffee shop. First we want to cut a coffee pot from the designer series paper. I've already done some um, and as I cut them I just put them in a little dish so that I can access them when I want them. Set that aside. We need that for the inside of the card. Stamp my coffee cup and I've mounted my stamps on a block D, G block for the lid and the coffee beans and heart and tag with an A block. I'm going to use Soft Sky and stamp these words first. Next I'm going to stamp the outline of the coffee cup 
and I want to leave a bit of space because I'm going to chop up these letters as you can see here. I'm going to stamp high in soft sky and this heart also in soft sky. And then with the lid, stamp off first before I stamp on. Next I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. That will be just the coffee beans in chocolate chip. And I'll stamp it three times without re-inking. Take my crumb cake marker pen and I'm just going to scribble a marking there. Take the coffee pot and apply Tombow glue on and adhere it card in the left hand side. I'll glue it to the card base, inside of the card base. So that's done and dusted. Take the other piece of very vanilla and cut my burlap stamp. Now you can get this in wood or clear mount. I've got mine in wood. Take the ink pad to the stamp because the stamp is so big and what I do is I put it on a piece of grid paper and I put my cardstock on top so that it's not so cumbersome and then I ink it up and just rub my hands over it. And lift it up. The Timeless Textures stamp set. I'm going to use this coffee stain image and the splatter pattern. Ink it up and just stamp it toward the bottom right and then the splatter pattern sort of towards the bottom left. Set that aside. With the wording on this I want to cut sufficient border. I'll just cut this little piece off for later. And then we're going to die cut those. I've got my magnetic platform, the base cutting plate, cardstock, the large cup die. I'll need the lid die. The tag. And the little heart. Top cutting plate. And I'm ready to run it through the big shot. So I'll do that off camera. You may find that dime might have jumped. And you've got too much plain white, uh, cardstock on one end. So you can take a scissors and just trim off the... Uh, excess white space. I think I'll trim that a little bit closer. Cut the heart. If we're not using the tab all you have to do is just extend, follow the line of the heart and then cut, cut the heart shape out like so. We need to die cut this wrap for the coffee cup. So you take it from your Soft sky mat, it won't be seen, it, you just cut it from the centre and I'll go and do that off camera. Snip off about 6 inches, that's 15.2 centimetres, thread it through the hole in your tab like so, then loop the two tails through that loop and pull it tight. Attach a mini dimensional. See, this is the ordinary size one and that's the mini. Can you see the difference? This is the best thing since sliced bread because it takes all the aggro out of cutting them. So I'll set that aside while we glue this together. Glue the stamped card front onto the cardstock. Yes, I made a mistake there. So I did 
the other side. Like so. Glue the stick first and just the Tombow adhesive will do. So probably round about there. Then the coffee mug that up on dimensionals. And glue the lid on top. Apply Tombow to the back of the card. And glue it to the card front. Next I'm going to chop up my letters. Now I'm going to cut these words at different angles so that it's just more aesthetically pleasing and it's because when you're doing words like this it's ever so difficult to um, line them up so it's better to if you're going to be crooked you might as well make them really crooked lay all the letters in on its front so you can pop dimensionals on the back okay now we're ready to assemble our letters so happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. The last little touch is this designer series paper trio of coffee beans. Just stick it on there. Stick my tab down. with a glue dot, trim off the excess if I can get in at this awkward angle. Another mini glue dot on the back Which do you prefer, the soft sky one or the crumb cake one with the soft sky mat? I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog here at blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another project.